Hello everybody and welcome back to another Dark Mechanicus video. Sorry it's been a couple of days, guys, I've just been trying to get stuff ready and also I've been painting that bloody uh, Mechanicus Knight as well. That took quite a while. But anyway guys, so what unit we're going to look at today? Well, this unit came out of the necessity for the army, um, really, because I wanted to have uh, a lot of models which were kind of high wound count, um, high attack output, and that were also very, very cheap as well. And something that I could just throw at the enemy and bog them down for ages, and also enough to be a threat for them to want to keep away. Now, I th essentially, I wanted to use Nurgling Swarms, and I rolled with that idea quite a bit, because, I mean, Nurgling Swarms, they're pretty decent, I mean, they're only, what, 45 points for three Nurgling Swarms? 15 points per base, which is really cheap. They've got four wounds, four attacks, uh, no save, but they do get an invulnerable because they're a demon, so that's what, like a six up, five up invul or something like that. And they can also do things like uh, infiltrate and deep strike as well, which is really cool, which means that I can just have them pop up randomly somewhere in the board. Um, so I wanted to do that. Now, I thought to myself initially, what could I use for Nurgling Swarms and Mechanicus? I was like, oh, I don't know, that's, I don't know, I'll use, I'll, I'll use um, Servo Skulls, brilliant. So I went looking for Servo Skulls and I was like, right, um, yeah, from what I thought I had loads, I had like three Servo Skulls, so I tried making my own, and they just ended up looking like a pile of dog shit. You know when you're just really not happy with the project, so you end up just completely scrapping it? It was one of them. I scrapped it before I even got through to the painting stage, which is normally where stuff comes together. I was really that, not that happy with it. So then I was like, right, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to use for them? And I was thinking to myself, well, Dark Mechanicus, obviously the main reason why they broke away from the main Mechanicum is because the Mechanicus, the Adesis Ades Mechanicus doesn't allow innovation, doesn't allow tinkering and messing about with Xenotech or anything like that. So I was like, hmm, what have I got? And I was like, hang on, I tried doing Tyranids a while ago, I'm sure I've got some Hormagaunt somewhere. So in the end, I came up with these beauties. That's right guys, I came up with Mecha Nids. So obviously they're on the large bases to represent the uh, size of the uh, Nurgling Swarms and stuff like that. But as you can see, let me just uh, re-angle this light a little bit so it's a little bit closer. As you can see, uh, can I use some Necron bits and uh, just some tubes, really? Uh, really simple conversions, and I was actually looking at these parts from the Necron Wraith kits uh, for a while, um, and I thought, do you know what? They're perfect to go and fit in Tyranid Gaunt or Hormagaunt bodies. I was like, oh, let's just try this. So I did, and they were a brilliant fit. So I kind of you know, replaced a couple of the arms of these in some cases. I replaced both the arms of these like mechanical talon type things. We've got these kind of like pacifier mind lock helms as well, which are actually the face plates of the wraiths as well, and they just look really, really cool, and I got a nice glowy effect. And um, speaking of which, that glowy effect is done by painting a base colour of um, Vallejo um, Escorpana Green, which is just a scorpion green. And then I found this paint as well, which is um, uh, Vallejo model colour number seven. Is it number uh, number number two ten? I believe. And this is fluorescent green, which is really really cool. And I've showed this on a video before. Anyway, guys. So with these uh, nailing swords, I've got quite a few of them because uh, I, I actually had just the right amount of uh, gaunts and stuff to use. So I did uh, these guys here like this. So these are gonna gonna come down. Oh, you can't really see them. I've not even put them in front of the camera. How silly! How silly of me. There we go. So I've got these guys there. So there's what three? So there's seven of those guys. Um, so they're going to basically be put out quite a lot of wounds, really. I mean, four wounds each. So that's four. That's a lot of wounds, basically. Um, but then I was like, right, well, um, obviously they need some kind of herder, you know, some kind of tech priest to actually, you know, herd them about. So I came up with this guy, as you can see him here. Now, uh, as you can see, he's uh, got one arm. You might say he's armless. Oh, yes, I fucking went there, didn't I? Um, but yeah, so he's got one arm. Obviously, he is a Tyranid herder, um, so to speak, so that's probably why he's lost an arm. Um, but this little Tech Priest conversion was pretty cool as well, um, using a lot of the Tech Marine arms, also using some Anvil Industries torsos and uh, head as well. And uh, then we just got some servo arms glued to this uh, backpack, and again, you've got a nice little glowy effect on there. Ah, my compressor's going off! Shut up! Be quiet, compressor! Be quiet! I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's very noisy. Quiet! Silence, compressor! I command you to stop! Come out! Fuck you! Compressor! Uh, turn you off! Damn it! I can't tap! There you go. So, that compressor is now off. <laughs> 
Um, so guys, yeah, so this is my cool little tap marine. He's got a little glowy ore specs there, so he's basically going to be like in the middle of him. He's going to count as a Nurgling Swarm as well, just to add a bit of narrative to the actual squad itself. Um, uh, essentially, that's it. Uh, let's have a look at some of the um, other little bits. So these were actually constructed. Um, I actually had to clip off the back of the t of the gaunt head um, with these, and actually allow. And once that was clipped off, it allowed these little face plates to slot in quite nicely. And then the back of it is just using the tube tool that I love so much. <laughs> As I've gone on about it for far too much. Uh, just into from the top of the carapace into the back, just to make them look a bit more mechy and a bit more mechanical. But as you can see there, guys, they're a pretty cool looking little squad. Um, so yeah, guys, um, I'm just going to give a little quick pan across it for you, just because, uh, you know, I just think they're a really nice little squad, and the Tech Priest guy really makes a nice little centerpiece for it. So there they are, my mechanids. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have liked this video, please don't forget to give it a like, give it a share, and if it's the first time you're watching, give it a subscribe as well. Don't forget to check out the Enter the Wolf Time Facebook group, which is in the doobly-doo down below, because you get little sneak peeks of what I've got going at the moment. So guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys again. Goodbye. Don't forget to share. Goodbye.